Hi there, it's the PPT Pro and today I'm going to take you on a journey, yes, showing you how to create a stunning slide presentation using only PowerPoint. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced presenter, you are in the right place. Stay tuned because by the end of this video you will have the skills to make your presentations truly stand out. Let's dive in. So this tutorial is divided into five parts. The first will be about scrapping, distributing the pictures on slide one. Part two, we will see how to do the pictures reveal animation. Exciting, right? Part three, I'm gonna show you the picture cover animation on slide three. We're gonna see the process of switching from picture one to picture two on part four. And finally, the hyperlinks part. So let's start. First, I'm gonna insert the pictures. Select them all, then hit insert. So those are all the pictures. I'm gonna move them out of frame. Then I'll crop them one by one, following this process. So this process consists of giving each picture the ratio of 3 by 4. So every picture will have the same ratio as the other. So we can give them the same or the exact size. So to be able to do that it's easy, we select the picture, then go to picture format, aspect ratio, then hit the 3 by 4. Then we repeat this for all the rest of the pictures. Here I'm gonna do a quick sped up, see you afterward. Now, since every picture has the same size, so let's make them smaller and give them the same crop shapes it will be a rectangle with a rounded corner. So here I'm scale them down like that. Nice. Then I select them all again. Go to picture format, crop crop to shape and choose the rectangle with the rounded corners so after that we're gonna go to the selection pan over there then hide the first picture after that we're gonna make all the rest of the pictures smaller by hitting ctrl and shift so we can scale them down by their center so the other pictures will be smaller than the first one. Perfect. So, after finishing the pictures distribution, let's insert a little title at the top of the slide. I will name it Interior Design. Then I will center it with the slide, like that. After that, I'll change the font to General Sense Semi Bold for titles. Then give it the size of 32. Doing the title make me realize that the pictures are not aligned with the center, so let's align them again. Do not forget, let's change the color of the title to a beautiful gray. Then, with that, we are finished with part 1. Let's move to part 2. So now I'll duplicate the first slide like that. Then I select the first picture, open the selection pan, then hide. Then I'll make those pictures bigger, slightly smaller than the first one. Mm, let's make them a little bit bigger. Nice. Now I'll move them side by side like that. One to the right and the other to the left. 
and maintain the same distance that our points give. So now we are finished with the arrangements of the pictures. Let's add the more transition to try the animation. Nice, but we have a little bit of a problem here. So this picture, the front one, isn't moving. It remains static. So by decreasing its size, we will give it that effect we want. Nice. And we are not done yet, uh, we need to add the arrows at the bottom of the slide. So this is the first one, let's make it thinner, like that, by moving the yellow circles, nice, so I zoom to have a better control of the arrow, I'll face it to the right, like that do some adjustments of the width then remove the outlines and choose a beautiful gray for the fill so for the second arrow let's duplicate this one move it to the side like that then flip it horizontally nice we are finished with the arrows so let's add that circle animation to the background so first i'm gonna add a big circle covering all of the background starting from the center of course so i'll align it like that horizontally and vertically then send it to back after that I remove the outlines then choose a beautiful color from the main picture nice so after that obviously I'll change the color of the title to white so it will be visible so as the arrows nice now I'm gonna copy paste the circle to the first slide then send it to back make it smaller or hide it under the pictures right there let's move it down a little bit and keep hiding it under the pictures so let's try the animation great so this is it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's decrease the duration of the transition so we have a faster animation. Then here I'll add some visuals to the background as you can see. I made them on Illustrator. So if you like them, they are free. You can grab them from the presentation. Then I move them to back like that, then give them a darker color than the background color as you can see here. And with that we are finished with the design of the second slide. So let's see how it turned out. Nice, one more thing before I forget, let's copy the graphic to the first slide, then move it out of frame like that then send it to back and we will have that smooth animation and now we can move to part 3 so here I'll duplicate the second slide like that then cover all of the frame with this main picture at the center don't forget to hold ctrl and shift so you will scale it up from the center then i'll go to picture format crop and scale the picture down so there will be more information on the slide and then 
scale down the crops I don't know if that's a word or not but I just invented here I'll make the picture darker so the white text will be more visible then I'll move out of frame the arrows then the title so now I zoom into the slide then after that I zoom the windows of the slide so I can see what's going on in the slide frame then I'll duplicate the title right there by holding control and drag so I find a good position for the title let's write the content I'll choose bringing the outdoors in for this title so after that I'll make them all capital letters how to do that go to that icon then click on upper cases make them a little bit sized up like that nice so we are finished with the title let's insert a default text first let's make it like a sentence then change the font to just general sense the regular one after that we will write the famous equal lorem one to generate a random test next sorry so this is our text let's decrease its size then see how it turned out so I think it needs some adjustments the text and the title need to go down and the pictures need to be a little bit darker so the text stand out well now let's see the animation nice I'm proud of this masterpiece now let's move to part 4 So here I'll try to drag all the pictures to the left so the second picture will be the main one as you can see I'm trying here to center it then I'll decrease the size of the X main picture like that then increase the size of the new main one so from here everything will be the same as the previous steps so i'll leave you with this quick sped up So now I'll try to make the picture cover of the slide animation so this time I'll move out of frame those pictures at the side then do the same as the previous one hide the arrows the title then cover all of the frame with the main picture and don't forget to go to picture format crop then decrease the crop size and the size of the picture so we can show more information on the picture then decrease the brightness so to speed things up here 
I'll copy paste the text and the title from that slide, then change the title. And this time I replace the title with the furniture mattress. All right, part four is finished. Now let's move to the last part, which is part five. So on this part, I'm gonna add the hyperlinks to the elements. I'll start with this picture, go to action, hyperlink, slide, then choose the slide related to it, which is slide number five. Perfecto. Now this one, action, hyperlink, then slide, then slide number four. Perfecto ecto. <laughs> sorry for the effects yeah let's get serious again now to go back i'm gonna add a action here on the picture and i'll choose the slide three so i can get back to that slide nice i'll do the same with slide four uh, sorry five then i'll choose slide number two nice now i'm gonna add some hyperlinks to the arrows so the first one will be the arrow which take us to the next slide now let's select it and go to action hyperlink next slide and hit ok then the second one will be the arrow that will take us to the previous slide now I select both of those by holding shift then select then I'll copy paste them on the other slides I'll remove those without links and replace them with those that are with the links and now I'm happy to say that we made a banger of presentation let's see the result This is it everyone, I had so much fun doing this tutorial, I hope you do as well. So you can download the presentation from the link in the description box. Stay creative, stay safe.